Mm, I thought about playing some some Fall of Porcupine again, and yesterday we stopped with the Hibernation a Festival. So I guess uh, this is where we're going to start, at least today. Wow, I haven't slept that well in eight. Guess my body needed it. No crazy dreams, no thunderstorms. Just sleep. Sounds like exhaustion, actually. You made it in with a uh, Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. It's just in case when people are tuning in, then they can see it with an instant, you know. I just wanted to know uh, if it's still um, available. <laughs> Hi, Hapalize. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ding dong. Well, yesterday we opened up the door, but this is where I basically stopped. And this is our friend. I think her name was P. I'm always forgetting. Um, and she's picking us up. Finn, the yo. Happy Hibernation Festival. Thank you. Same to you. Oh, man, I'm already super excited. And I'm way behind my preparations, too. Things have been really intense this year. What did you have to do? Uh, what do you think? I'm responsible for all the exquisite decorations, of course. You'll love it. They are so beautiful. I was just in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd pick you up. There is something else I want to show you. Was she always wearing this purple... What is this badge? Mm, I never paid attention to her clothes, actually. Hmm. Then we can head to the town square together. Sounds good. Yes! <laughs> I can't wait. All right. Uh, I'm doing good. Just uh, very hot weather today. How are you? Yeah, it's uh, insanely hot. Um, I, I read today it's going to get... We're going to have over 30 degrees the, the next days. Um, in some parts in some parts of Germany, at least. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's going to be over 30 degrees. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. Hi, life. <laughs> I am doing okay. My head is a bit hurting. Um, I, I don't know, but every time I'm taking a nap, not every time, but sometimes I'm taking a nap and waking up and then I'm having insanely, uh, yeah, my, my head is just hurting. My head is hurting. I don't know why. I, I was chugging so much water and now my belly is also hurting, <laughs> but I want to play this game. <laughs> it was kind of productive this morning, but now I'm chilling my crew flat. Uh, I, I was reading your messages earlier, yeah. That sounds like uh, uh, like you're having your life under control. <laughs> it's a good feeling when you are waking up and you're being so productive so you can chill the rest of the day. That's really nice. Let's talk to my favorite character in game. Well, good morning, my friend. Oh, <clears throat> good morning, my friend. Good, mo good mood? The best. Thanks to you guys. Have a nice full belly. Yesterday we... Um, we yarned some some food from the from the trash bin of the grocery store, and we delivered the food to the people in need, and also Alfio. And makes me happy to hear that he's having a belly. He's having a full belly. He's one of my favorite characters. Um, I don't know. I hope nothing bad gonna happen to him. <laughs> my fridge was empty, and I had no problem. <laughs> well. Sounds like you had a very busy week also um, when you're working throughout the week or do you just want to chill coming home and you just want to chill? I hate doing groceries on a Saturday, but uh, yeah, sometimes it's necessary. <laughs> so yeah, I had to go shopping. Yeah, <laughs> I also went outside a bit uh, to get my beloved chips for the movie night. <laughs> yeah, I worked overtime on Wednesday. Yeah, I... <laughs> I think a lot of people are feeling this way. They're like, okay, I, I don't want to do big groceries. I'm going to do this during the weekend because you're just working all day long and then you want you just want to be at home, you know? And I'm thankful for this day. Are you going to the Habination Festival later? I, I don't think so. Thank you. Not in the mood? Mood's not got, got nothing to do with it. I just don't like crowds. Mm, okay. Uh, well, no pressure. Uh, I'll just look forward to seeing you if you change your mind. Well, maybe I'll sleep on it again. Mm, cutie. Oh, wait. I need to go also to my other friend. To the deep talker. Um, right next to the river. 
to be on a Saturday between 8 and 9 a.m. There is no one at the grocery. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> because most people are sleeping in. But um, if you're doing groceries uh, in the afternoon, yeah, it's full of people and you're not going to be able to get strawberries and cherries and all these delicious stuff anymore. I did it the last week. <laughs> Hello, Frauke. Mm, hi, Finley. How are things? I'm getting by, you? Getting by. Susie brought me a letter earlier with the day's mail. My sister isn't doing so well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She's having financial troubles, so she asked if she could move in with me for a while. Unfortunately, I live in a one-bedroom mobile home over in Sandalwood. Even more unfortunately, she's the most annoying person I know. <laughs> I see. Have you replied to her yet? Yeah, she's on the train right now. She'll be here in three hours. Oh, so, so you are taking her in after all. Um, I want to be the Frauke who helps her sister out when she's in need. <laughs> Even if we do fight. If two twigs stick together, they'll have a better chance of holding out against the current. A true stream of consciousness thought. Not bad, young Finley. Right? <laughs> not bad at all, and not wrong either. And if things get too stressful, I can just move all my things over here to the river side. Even though he's just having a one-room apartment and they're most likely gonna fight, he's like, yeah, but she's my sister and I will help, uh, help her out. That's cute. I bought so much fresh food for just 32 euro. Nice. Uh, another, um, another good deal is, at least in Germany, when you are doing your groceries on Saturday evening after six, um, you can make good deals because they want to get rid of uh, some stuff some stuff which is not going to be good until monday anymore you know because on sundays or our stores are closed why are you not coming with me no, okay <laughs> just did my laundry phew <laughs> well another thing is done due to the current festivities this bus route is cancelled today i think i never took the bus here what a surprise. Between 30% and 50%. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. But of course, you're not going to get everything anymore. Um, oh, wait, what? Let's stop by my shop first. I assume that's what she said. There is something I want to show you first. Okay. Actually, I need to take a shower. <laughs> I'm sweating so much. <laughs> Do that. Enjoy your shower. It's too warm. Oh, the Danish warmth is nothing. And I spent my summer in Denmark. Stop complaining. <laughs> I bought some burger patties on sale and already at the world. Nice. Sounds like a very nice dinner. Honestly, it's so warm. Um, I, I didn't want to cook, so I had pizza today. <laughs> I'm very happy with my pizza and I still have some left. So I will eat that later. Hey, look, it's Kid Doctor. The good thing he took off that Ida's hat. It looked ridiculous. Okay. This person has nothing ever nice things to say. But it was also snappy. We, we brought some food yesterday. I also bought stuff for pizza. Um, are you doing your pizza for yourself? Or are you... Um, are you... Mm, putting more ingredients on the, on the pizza you bought? That's also sometimes sometimes I'm doing just yeah to have more vegetables I guess. Uh, there are even special po postcards for the Hibernation Festival. <gasps> Another bird! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! Is everything okay? Yes. No, oh, I'm nervous. What's going on? Chloe is com competing in the steel contest today. That's. A good thing, right? I'll be crossing my fingers cr uh, crossed for her. Keeping my fingers crossed for her. This is so funny. Um, in, in German, we're not saying this. We're saying we are pressing our thumbs. 
I always thought it thought it's uh, it's interesting that uh, Germany people are s saying something different to that. Bordeaux and uh, gonna put it. Oh, that's such a nice idea. That's really nice. I love making my own pizza as well. And it's not even that expensive. Uh, that's actually a good idea. You can never do anything wrong with pizza, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, good thing. Cross the fingers, take the paper off the row. Check the caps on the pants. Look, lock the register, turn off the lights. I, I think I've thought of everything. Is everything okay? Yes, yeah, I think so. Today's an important day for Chloe. She's going to be defending her title in the stew contest. Everything needs to be perfect. I'm looking forward to tasting your recipe. See you there. See you there. Is he thinking? Hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Sunik. Any movie nights in chat? Soonish. In around about three hours, I guess. Yeah. Hi, Sunik. How are you doing? I got tomatoes, bell peppers, chili, mushrooms, onion, and mozzarella. Um, do you like... Uh, is it called pepperoni? But I'm not talking about the meat. I'm talking about um, the green vegetable. It's like a pickle. I'm always forgetting the name. I think it's called pepperoni. And garlic. Oh, you can't do much wrong with uh, garlic. I love pepperoni and garlic. <laughs> That's just finishing. Um, it's a very good finisher for the pizza. The pepperoni oil is so good. Oof. Ta-da! Ah! <gasps> oh, she put some flowers around it. Oh. What do you think? I mean, this just for today. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> you really didn't clean up that paint I spilled. <laughs> of course I didn't. Look how beautiful it is. What do you think of your masterpiece? <laughs> My masterpiece? You're the one who painted it. Yeah, but your contribution was essential to the whole. That makes it a collaborative work at all of art. You could even call it performance art. Does that mean I get a share of the proceeds? <laughs> Bernie, as is the hot stuff. Um, there's also sweet pepperoni. Um, they're not automatically um, spicy. Um, there are also, also some some sweet one. I I can't eat spicy food. That's why I I I know this one. There are so many different kind of pepperoni. Same with tomatoes. There are so many different kind of tomatoes, but the same with different kind of apples. You know, who loves spicy? <laughs> I I also used to love it, but I my my stomach can't take it anymore. I'm very sensitive for that, unfortunately. Well, we'll negotiate the details another time. I mean, it's not like I can just sell this artwork to a collector. Because you're emotionally attached to it? Because my store is physically attached to it. Oh. <laughs> right. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. But while you're here, why don't you come into my store with, for, uh, with me for a minute? I've got another surprise for you inside. Oh, wow. She is so cute, actually. Now I'm, s I'm curious what's inside. Maybe a new flower? Clean up party! Uh, what? Clean up party? Is this the second... That's not a party. I'm gonna be your clean up slave. What? Yes. <laughs> Just look at my store. I was up all night putting the decorations together. And I was thinking, since you are such a nice person, maybe you could help me tidy everything up. That way we'll get the Happy Nation Festival in no time. She, she baited me. Yeah, she did. All right. Yay! But I, you know what? I'm gladly doing it because she's my friend and I know she she was working up. She was working all night long for the festival, so I was just sleeping. So I will quickly help her, right? Just cut the wall out and sell it. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you could. Technically, you could. But I think um, nobody would buy it. That depends. There are some crazy people would also do that, right? tricked you into doing chores <laughs> but we're gonna do it we're kind people right chat your job my super kind friend is going to be the, to clean the floor let's go oh that's super fast you see ta-da 
How's it looking? That was very fast. <laughs> Not even 10 seconds. <laughs> it's probably really hard doing those smaller things if all you got is who's. Probably, but I'm only having wings. Hmm. Maybe it's easier to tidying up, huh? Hmm, Zazum. Hmm, Leo. <laughs> you can find a buyer, buyer for everything. Yeah, I guess uh, you can. You just need to create a market for that. So let's. Uh, you have to make it sound like it's uh, hmm, something uh, you need, probably. You get natural feather dusters attached to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, and my boys are very uh, dusty. How's it looking? I'm done. Superly, duperly, fast as lightning, you know. Ready to head out then? I was ready the moment I walked in here. <laughs> Yay! To the town square, to the hibernation festival. I am super curious about the festival now. Um, they were talking about us too the whole time. Hi, Pan. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Let's take the other route to the town square. It's way faster. And I'm starting to worry we'll miss the start of the festival. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the other way to, to the hospital over the, the forest. You're right. And suddenly it's super dark. I mean, it's fall. It's not summer. So wait. The high streets more or less deserted. Well, sure. Early closing for most folks today. It'll be dark soon and no one wants to miss anything. We should hurry up too. Let's go. I hope there's not gonna be gonna, there's not gonna be any trouble at the festival like we did like we had with the with the pop yesterday. With a pop fight. Mm -hmm. It's so empty for a festival day. But maybe everyone is just here at the town square. Look, see the, the trees back there? Seem familiar at all? That's the glow milkwoods. So it is. I'd recognize them anywhere after our last trip. Yeah, I know what you mean. The woods are special. Maybe you guys can remember, but we went to the woods once um, because she wanted to take care of the figurines and every figurine was standing for um, a passed away person. And we even saw the figure of a brother. Well, but now it's party time. Who are all these people now? Wow, that nougat punch smelled so good. Oh, wow. I think I'll have a mug of it. That sounds amazing. Maybe even two. <laughs> I was playing some pity too. Really good game so far, even if it's a bit confusing at first. I is it the first time you played F Payday? It was one of my favorite games a couple of years ago, actually. Um, wait, we can also talk to her. Well, look who it is. Oh, you've got the day off, too, then. Everyone is having some kind of badge. No, she's also having a badge. Is that some kind of a train? Hmm. No, quite, sadly. Night shift. Oh, okay, well, it's still cool that you stop by. I hope that decision doesn't come back to haunt me tomorrow. I guess that still depends on what else you've got planned for today. No drinking. Hi, newbie. Welcome back. Haven't I seen you before? You work at St. Ursula. Ursula's too, right? That's right. Internal medicine, third floor. I'm Lisa, surgeon, second floor. Uh, pleased to meet you. No work today? Not until tonight, night shift. How are things going in the surgery? Uh, you know, same old, same old. Old Linwood spends all day acting like a big shot without ever actually lifting a finger to help. Benny and Renee keep the whole place running. Who's on shift for you today? I think Dr. Linwood and Benjamin are there. Maybe you'll have time to drop by later? If you do, say hi to Benny from me. For now, I'm going to treat myself to a tall mug of nougat punch. Oh my god, I want to try this one. It's great to be able to take a breather for once. Enjoy your evening and happy Hibernation Festival. 
You too. Safe journey to St. Ursula's later. Uh, we're going to have a nice evening, but I kind of want to avoid these two because, yeah, it end up ended up with a pop fight. I did play a bit earlier, but I played again before I came here. I'm starting to, to learn it. So it is actually your very first time uh, trying out Payday. It was free over the Epic Store, right? I always enjoy my time in Payday. It was even more fun when you had a group to play together with. I'm having really good memories with this game and it was hard to master. And there is, ins there is an insane amount of achievements if you, if you are a person who is trying to get them all. There are over 1,000, but of course there are also lots of DLCs and stuff. All right, I'm only going to talk to them because of the game. I would never do this in real life. Let me celebrate in peace, Court. Yeah, can't you see we're celebrating here? That's right, celebrating. Okay, I I don't think we have much to say to each other. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, that's also my my lovebird here. <laughs> Did you know that today is the hibernation festival? Isn't that great? I really want to make a hazelnut candle today. A really big one. Have you ever made a hazelnut candle before? Uh, no, but didn't one of our colleagues ask? The one who got suspended for a couple of days. Didn't he ask us for a hazelnut candle or something? Or was it somebody else? <laughs> Hell no, payday isn't a game. I would even try to do 1%. No, no, you need to be a very dedicated player to do that, I guess. Wait, did we talk to, to, to this guy? No, Mr. Heidrich, I wasn't expecting to see you here. But of course, I never miss a hibernation festival. It's a time when the whole community comes together. And the economy is stimulated. And a fantastic day. A fantastic day. There's also the small matter of my participation in the stew contest, of course. You like to cook? Ah, oh, cooking relaxes. Cooking satisfies. Cooking has purpose, meaning. Which is to say, that's great. I'll be cheering for you too, of course, even though Mia's my favorite. Ah, oh, naturally. Team loyalty is essential. And in the end, it's the stew that wins, not the support. I look forward to invigorating competition. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, and a joyful hibernation festival to you. Me too. Tomorrow we worked hard, today we celebrate. Or was it work hard, party hard or something? <laughs> Da, 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 da. Hello, grey flower. <laughs> grey what? Oh, nothing. Hey, I'm a pigeon, I'm not a flower. Warmth and comfort to you. Is that what they say? Not yet. But I'm trying to make it a thing. The new gre greeting for the hibernation festival. Pretty festive, right? I like the guitar in the background. How are you feeling? Are you ready? Um, hey Mia, anyone home? Uh, two tablespoons of truffle powder. Or was it 12? Uh, uh, Finley, was it two or 12? You have to tell me. I, I don't remember anymore. I feel sick. Calm down, Mia. Hey, take a deep breath. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Are you okay now? I think so. How many spoons of truffle powder go into the stew? None. There's no truffle in the stew at all. That's better. You can do this, Mia. You've done a great job with everything so far. And I've been looking forward to sampling your stew all evening. You're going to win. I just know it. You really think so? You bet it's going to be amazing. And if I can help you in any way, just say. I'll be right here watching you cook everyone else off the stage. <laughs> yes, we've got this. Thank you. I feel a little bit be better already. Maybe I'll have another speak of my drink first. Uh, whatever works for you. <laughs> i just relax for one more moment. I'll be right back. I better go over the recipe just one more time. Because I want to go to the right side first and talk to the people here. Um, 
This is looking like where we can buy a candle. Hello! I hope you're enjoying the festivities. I uh, can I interest you in our handmade fall tree tea towels? We still have a few castanets too. Or how about a traditional hazelnut candle? I'm afraid I still need a moment to get things ready. Why don't you come back later? I think I'll be ready after this tea contest. All right. <laughs> wow, she's dancing. Today, there is no history, but that's what we write ourselves. I can already feel my dancing feet starting to itch. Tonight's going to be a big one. You youngsters, just wait and see. Whoa, whoa I can feel it. It's like I'm 20 again. Let's dance ourselves hungry. <laughs> well, she's enjoying herself. Can we also go to the stage now, right? Now we're just in... Oh, we can. Never mind. Uh, I'm a party burp now. Oh, I like the sizzling sound. Sorte, I didn't know you had a stall here too. Of course I do. I can't deprive the town of my street food. <laughs> All this reminds me of my days as a young traveling chef. I fired up the grills on so many streets in so many cities. But don't be fooled. This is just the warm-up. Today, I too find myself in the orchestra pit of flavors. Allowing myself to be entranced by the bubbling of the hot pots. Today, there will be no long symphony of several moments. On this day, it all comes down to a single chord. The perfect note. And I will call this masterpiece... Sergei's famous pepper stew. That sounds amazing, but we also know his skills from the cafeteria. Mm. Hi, dear deeds. Good evening. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Sounds delicious. You are blessed, don't you see? You are one of the lucky few uh, who may get a chance to sample a bowl today. This is one hibernation festival you'll never forget. Okay. There you are. Uh, I just, uh, I was just warming up my voice to cheer Chloe on. I wa want a sneak preview? Um, <laughs> yes, maybe. <laughs> okay, here it comes. <clears throat> go, Chloe, go! Everyone else stews, whoa! <laughs> Everyone else stews, whoa? I may need to work on my grammar. I'm rooting for everyone in the contest. So you're not, you're rooting for Chloe too? Great! I'm selling extra goods from our store today. Pens, greeting cards, uh, unwrapping paper. Wait, wasn't the, the, this a French word then? The pens, greetings, the cards, of wrapping paper. But if I'm honest, my thoughts are elsewhere. <laughs> All I can think about is uh, Chloe winning uh, that trophy again. I messed it up. <laughs> Very tired, couldn't sleep last night, so I decided to repair my dishwasher at 2 a.m. Did it work out? Could you fix it? I'm sorry. I I hope you can sleep better tonight. I'm also I also figured out I'm sleeping so bad because it's just too warm. Of course I fixed it. Damn, you're very talented. That's nice to hear. There's the fox, th but I think the the fox is going to be very rude to, towards us again. We, I'm going to talk to him. You're going to see. Hey dog, fancy bumping into here? Into you here? Um, good to see you. How are you? Lungs doing well? That was the asthma pick. Can be better. I've got the school spray thing now. Just keep it in my pocket all the time. And when I'm out of breath, I take a quick breath from it. It's awesome. Yeah, awesome inhalers. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Mm, but lay off the cigarettes, okay? I know it's hard on special occasions, but your lungs will thank you. Wait, he was smoking? Blech. Sure thing, dog. I really don't want to end up back in the hospital. Is the internet working better now, at least? <laughs> Afraid not. Mm, grim. <laughs> oh, we can't... Jan, he's too cool for us. We can't even talk to him. But we're gonna go back to... to our friends so we can start the event now. Very doubtful sleep will be better tonight, but it is what it is. 
then I hope you will find your rhythm back at some point. Now I'm ready. Oof. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm rooting for you, Mia. Thank you. <laughs> Fellow po Okay, <coughs> where's my... Where's my megaphone here? Oh, here. Fellow Pokepinians! May I have your attention for a moment? A happy hibernation festival to all of you. Today is a special day for me. As I have the honor of officially opening the hibernation festival. For the ninth time in a row, you think this would be cakewalk for me by now. But I am still nervous. Nervous with joy. Seeing all of you celebrating with you. This is always the highlight of my year. I look into your faces and think back to all the wonderful years we've had in this town. I've seen many of you grow up. New faces have joined us. Old ones have left. And me. I am still here. For that, I am truly grateful. Why is nobody clapping here? She's super old and she's still doing that. <laughs> I love the announcer voices and voices that are obstructed by gas masks. <laughs> okay, bah. this is uh, a very, very specific <laughs> production, production quality through the roof. I'm <laughs> glad you like it. <laughs> I don't want to ramble on too long. After all, we're all here to party, right? I just have one more thing to ask of you. As you enjoy your delicious drinks today and treat yourselves to a hearty bowl of hot stew or gossip and love with your loved ones, Spare a thought for those who cannot be with us today. Those who have passed away over the course of the last year. And also for those who are at work right now or simply somewhere else. Think of them. When you see them again, tell them how much fun you had today. Make them to agree with envy. <laughs> All right, let's get on with it. I, Adele von Witterstein, can feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing up in anticipation. As you are hereby declare this year's hibernation festival, open. Ta-da! Cheers to all of you! Cheers, you old biddy! Cheers! <laughs> Here's to us! <laughs> Turn on the water! Oh, it's happening now. Oh, and it's working. That's nice to see. Just like every year, Hot water is passed through the pipes of the town fountain to keep us warm and serves as a base for the stews. Good luck to everyone taking part. And bon appétit to all our stew samplers. Here's to us. Yay! <laughs> Chloe water, a bit, yeah? Same with my eyes. Do, 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 do. Good news, the hazelnut candles are just firming up. They should be they should be fresh and ready to go right after the contest, if not before. Do, 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 do. Look at Adele bopping away. I hope I'm like that when I grow up. Didn't tell anyone, but uh, 
a tear came to my eye when she was speaking just now. Anyway, I really hope you enjoy the festival. Too bad you can't stay the, to the end, but have yourself a great time all the same. See you around, finish, finish, mini. <laughs> oh, they're all on stage now. We are hungry, we are hungry, 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 we're so hungry. Hungry, hungry, and thirsty too. <laughs> hazelnut, hazelnut, hazelnut. Let's go on stage then. What's happening with the last one? With Sergey? Just stick to the recipe, same as usual. Ration way. Don't over season. Um. Okay, fancy artist. You're doing great, Mia. Can I taste it? Finley! What's wrong? Finley! Yeah? The pickle weed! What's the pickle weed? M my secret ingredient! The spice that makes my tomato stew special! And I forgot to, to get it. I don't have any Finley. What am I going to do? I can't leave my stew, everything's already simmering. And time's running out too. Don't worry, um, I'll get some for you. I don't, I just don't know how though. <laughs> Where do you get something like that? At the grocery store, but that closed hours ago. Mm, any other ideas? Mm, yeah, you see Roman Heydrich over there at the front? Yeah. Pickle weed is his main ingredient. I don't know why it just it just make it must make his stew terribly bitter. But knowing him, I'm sure he won't give any of it away. Pickle weed, maybe at the dispenser. <laughs> I'll ask him. You just keep doing what you're doing. I don't think he's gonna give give us his pickle weed. Just a few more minutes, dear contestants. That it's time to drop your spoons. Oh no, did you hear that? Don't worry, I'll be right back. Really? Oh, thank you. Mr. Heidrich, may I disturb you for a moment? You know, I'm always happy to listen to my team's concerns, but I still need a moment or two for my stew. And as, you ju as you've just heard, time is of the essence. I need some of your pickle weed. What? From my ingredients? Yeah, could you spare some? You'd, you'd be doing me a huge favor. No, sorry, out of the question. You're a very likable young man. <laughs> and I would like to help, truly I would. But my ingredients have been measured out precisely according to my recipe. If I change even the slightest thing, it will affect the taste. I'm sorry. Okay, thanks anyway. Don't mention it. Uh, Mr. Heidrich can't spare any of his ingredients. I'm sorry. That's all right. It's my fault for forgetting it after all. Thanks for trying anyway. And now? My young colleague? Hmm? I've been thinking. You are part of St. Ursula's Hospital. Just like myself and our other young colleague back there. We have to stick together. With that in mind, I've decided to give you some of my pickle weed. Really? That's very kind of you. <laughs> but of course, I can't just simply give my ingredients away. So I would also like to ask a favor of you. Okay, okay, what do you need? I would like a bottle of caraway liquor from the wine stand. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, okay, no problem. I'll just head over there and buy you one. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. This is, uh, this caraway liquor is very special. The owner has produced only one bottle of it. Okay, I'm guessing it's insanely expensive then. Expensive? Oh, not at all. In fact, the wine seller is looking to give it away. 
Huh? Yes, it's a prize of swords for the first person to say the secret phrase to her. The secret phase? phrase? Exactly. It's sort of uh, like a password. The solution to a riddle. Do you have any idea what's it about? No, but talk to the person at the wine stand. I'm sure you'll find some answers there. Did we even go to the wine stand? Is this gonna be a trade quest? I think so. But I can't remember where was the wine stand. Hmm. Okay, I'll get you the bottle. Ex excellent. Even though it would have been nicer if you'd helped us for free. Mm, yeah, that's just Mr. Heidrich. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. You're not leaving just yet, are you? No, things are just getting started. No, no, no. I just wanted to see. Wait. Look at our Mia. Go, Mia. Give Heidrich a good roasting. And Sergei, too. He's been on my blacklist ever since he took the fried corn on the cup of the menu. Show him how it's done. Oh, this is the wine stand. Yeah, this is the, probably the wine stand we were talking about. Help me feel free. Sherry, what is this? Communism? No, it's called having a good community, actually. <laughs> what is Sergei cooking and why does it cause steam to, uh, to puff out? I have no idea. He's always going ham with that. Maybe I shouldn't say ham since he's a pig. Hmm. <laughs> I'm interested in winning the bottle of caraway liqueur. Oh, really? Then tell me. The red trees have left the forest. Oh, that's the puzzle, huh? Red trees? Oh, you don't know the answer? Apparently not, no. Okay, okay. Um, there are a few other people here who are also playing the game. Maybe one of them can give you the answer. How do you find out who knows the answer? That's part of the puzzle. <laughs> but I'm going to give you a little something to help you get started. Um, now pay attention. <clears throat> The blue shells glitter prettily in the morning sun. That's it. That's it. Take a look around, talk to people. And good luck. Thanks. The blue shell, has this something to do with a badge? <gasps> no, there's a, there's a timer on. Oh, no. The blue shells glitter prettily in the morning sun. Uh, I know the answer to that. Hold on. They hide when the yellow, yellow sun grows too hot. No idea what it's supposed to mean, though. I'll figure it out. Good luck. Yellow sun, what? They hide when the yellow sun grows too hot? Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. This is the yellow sun, right? Mm hmm I know the answer. The green chain is almost here. Thank you. The green train is almost here. Oh, that sounds familiar. It travels on to the purple sea. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. It travels on to the purple sea. The answer to that is... The red trees have left the forest. I hope that helps you too. I, ho I hope that helps you. It does. Thank you, Susie. Can we just get the wine now? Or l not the wine, the, the liquor, right? Oh, you tur returned. So do you have the answer? Hold on a second. Um, are you playing the game too? Why, why, of course. There is no rule against it, after all. So do you have the, uh, the answer? Um... Yeah. The red trees have left the forest. Now they grow on the golden beach. Incredible. That's the right answer. You've won. And in record time too. <laughs> really? Yay. <laughs> Congratulations. Here's a prize. Uh, a bottle of carrier liqueur. 
Thank you very much. I've got to dodge. Have a good evening. You too, my friend. Don't drop the bottle, though. Oop. It's a tip. Uh, it's pronounced Sergei. I'm not joking. I promise. <laughs> um, okay. I thought it's about how... I don't know. I thought about... Isn't this a, uh, an East European name? I have no idea. I thought there are two different kind of pronunciations. Mm, might go along with uh, the trade. I also heard. Uh, I also heard it at some point. It's Sergey. Well, okay. Well, I need to get him uh, something first. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 I need to give him the bo bottle here. Mr. Heidrich, have the liquor. Very good, my young colleague. You can always rely on teams. Thank you, Ursula. Can I have a pickle weed now? Of course, you've held up your end of bargain, and so shall I. Here's your prize, a bundle of the finest pickle weed. Thank you. Sorry, I've got to run now. Three minutes left, I mean four minutes. There you go. Depends on which accent and where y'all coming from, right? I also thought that. Well, I've got the ingredient. What? Really? That's awesome! You're the best sous chef in the world. <laughs> we can talk more later. Time's running out. We can talk more later. Go, go. We made it. So, my lovelies, your time is up. The cooking period is now officially over. Set your wooden spoons to one side and prepare for the tasting. Dig it, folks. Official announcers get first dip. <laughs> that was fantastic. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. I don't think I'll ever need to eat again. <laughs> But before we get to the award ceremony, there's something I'd like to get out of my chest. There are a lot of different people living here in Porcupine. Some have only been here for a short time. Others have spent their whole lives here. And that's good. And the way things should be. Be kind to each other. Be grateful. Be understanding. If you do that, Porcupine will remain the beautiful place it is. Maybe these are just the melancholy thoughts of an old, old woman. Or maybe I've already had a new cut bunch or two. <laughs> but I love all of you. So before the food coma sets in, let's get to the awards ceremony. <laughs> to refresh your memory here are the participants and their creations. Chloe took us on a wild journey through the world of porcini mushrooms. Roman presented you with a spicy pickle wheat pot. Isaac whipped up some handmade alphabet soup for a bookworms. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful handwriting, by the way. Our lovely Mia, a first-time contestant today, gave us a tomato stew that I'm sure has bowled more than a few of you over. And our last candidate is someone who only normally see when we are sick. Sir J or Sir K had she even left the cafeteria at St. Ursula's. His entry this year was a fury hot pepper stew. Okay, that's everyone. Now hold on to your spoons, it's about to get serious. <laughs> the winner of this year's porcupine stew content is Mia with a fruity spicy tomato stew Really? Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> Go 
Congratulations! What a great stew! And that goes for all of you as well. Congratulations on your amazing creations. And congratulations to everyone who got their hands on a bowl. You were really lucky to get to taste such wonderful stews. And now let the celebration continue. You said it. Oops. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> I'm missing the claps here a bit. Yay! Nobody's clapping here. And now the party is uh, over. <sighs> oh, she's happy now. Mia, you were awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Did you like the stew? Even better than that. I haven't even tasted it yet. What? Why? Because the whole pot got gobbled up straight away. I didn't stand a chance. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, it's no big deal. I could see how delicious it was from the looks and everyone's eyes. Celebrate me out. You've earned it. Thanks. I feel a little awkward, actually. <laughs> no, don't. Um, we're gonna get the candle now, right? Mm hmm. Phew. Finally done. I couldn't concentrate with all the excitement of the contest in the background. Anyway, can you get the, can you, can get you, can I get you something now? Um, I was wondering if I could get a hazelnut candle. One hazelnut candle coming right up. I also want to have a hazelnut candle now. That sounds amazing. What do I owe you? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? That's right. Everyone gets one hazelnut candle for free if they want it. Oh, that's very nice of you. Doesn't it mean you end up losing money on the candles? Yes, but making hazelnut candles is my favorite hobby. So I really don't mind. It means I need a little while to make them though. But at least they always smell fantastic. Hm. Enjoy your candle. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Happy Abination Festival. But who wanted to get the candle again? Does some are you guys remembering it? Hmm. At work, right? It was at the end of the stream yesterday, I think. Wait, is she coming with me? Mia, is everything all right? Yes, everything's great. I wanted to give you something. Really? Is there still some of your stew left? No, <laughs> that was gone in a flash. You've been such a tremendous help to me and I'm so grateful. You're always so helpful. It's amazing, really. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that I couldn't have done this without you. Which is why I want you to have my winner's trophy. Really? But you were the one who won it. Yes, but it was as much your victory as it was mine, really. Besides, I wouldn't even know where to put it in my apartment. <laughs> but I didn't cook that amazing stew. Thank you, Mia. I feel very honored. But how about we share it? It can be one of those trophies that moves from place to place. I'll take it and invite you to dinner sometime. So I can show you my finest cooking skills. Then you can take it home with you and we can cook again at your place. You can take turns with the trophy and the cooking. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. Okay. <laughs> yes. Let's take turns. <laughs> Happy Happy Nation Festival, Finlay. And to you. Celebrate. You deserve it. But now I need to get going. See you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Is it snowing? Looks cozy. It's snowing. Hey, porcupine. All of you. Happy Habination Festival. Oh, 
Oh, it's looking nice, right? <laughs> good night, Mr. Buster. Well, at least the bus has a good reason not to come today. <laughs> if you're partying and drinking, it's best not to dare do any driving at all. That goes for buses as well as cars. How many hibernation festivals do you think you've celebrated? 168. What? Really? But the hospital isn't that old. You're right there. But I haven't always been here. I didn't even know that. They brought me out here a long time ago. And I may not look it, but I haven't missed a single hibernation festival. Impressive. Were you, were you there today too? Not in the way you might think. You know, Ninoslo, the the guy in the town nice. fountain. Nice. Goodness, that's next uh, year, Kappa. <laughs> that just scared me. <laughs> next year, indeed. Uh, maybe some snow. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> Thank you so so much for the bits. I appreciate it. Oh, because oh, because of the number next year. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a troll. I do. I didn't even recognize. <laughs> it's of the one hundred sixty-eight next year. I see. Not the not not the uh, the snow. It's about the hibernation festival. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, other bits. Thank you. <laughs> I don't like him very much. He had a falling out a few decades ago. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? Well, I don't want to trouble you with, with my woes. But that Irigan upstart, upstart is so full of himself. He always has to be at the center of the celebrations. Oh, look at me. My hot water supplies the stew contest. The stews keep everyone warm and they only taste so good only because of me. And then he gets all those lavish decorations every year too not fair are you maybe jealous mm -hmm. 169 is that <laughs> two people engaging and then the third what sleeping at the side because that's kind of freaky i have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> me jealous of that slime ball and his stupendous decorations never Sorry, I digress. Don't stop on my count. Shall I give you a tip? A tip for next year? Sure, thank you. Get yourself a hood. It'll keep the first snow off your head. And no one will know it's you who partying the whole night away. <laughs> oh, this birdie would look very, very cute with a with a hoodie. Mm -hmm. The first ever hibernation festival brought the people of Porcupine together. They celebrated and feasted. But when it was all done, there was still a pile of candy left over. Together, they decided to store the leftover candy in a cabinet. And on that day, my dear vending machine, you were born. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that's how the story goes, for sure. Not in the mood for the hibernation festival? I'm sure I am. But someone has to keep this place running. I'll be down in a minute, though. Then we'll get the real party started. All that nonsense beforehand with the stews and everything. I can't stand it anyway. Boring. I heard you can win a bottle of caraway liquor at the wine stand, though. I've got to get my hands on that. Well, it's not there anymore. I've heard it's delicious. And there is only one bottle of it. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What? Has someone cleaned the bottle already? Well... I want it. You can't be serious. I'm sorry. I needed the bottle so Mia could win the uh, stew contest. Did she make a wine stew? No, I had to trade it for a special ingredient. Mm, I see. And did she win? Yes, the stew was amazing. 
Mm, well, I guess that's okay then. At least the wine went to a good cause. You've got a good hard, hard kid. All the same, if I go down there right now and there's nothing left to drink, <laughs> I'll be back here and I'll have your hat. Now, off to your shift. Dr. Krakowski's waiting. You're on the night shift together tonight. Oh, God. My favorite colleague. With my boss. Mm-hmm. I think I took the elevator only once, right? <laughs> right at the beginning. And then never again. Because they... S I mean, we saw somebody got stuck there anyway. One of our colleagues. I still have the candle and I think... Who wanted to get the candle? I can't remember. Chad, can you remember? Good evening, Finlay. Happy Happy Nation Festival, Dr. Krukowski. Yeah, hope you had a good time. Yes, I... It's just the two of us today. Holidays are all well and good, but someone has to keep the lights on here. That's true. So how are things looking? As they should, people actually always feel a little better on these on, on days like this. Some are homesick, others are just happy to have some peace and quiet. Still, from a psychological point of view, the Hibernation Festival actually seems to help them. I will take care of your of our dear Emma today. Please handle your duties. You'll find me in the break room when you're done. All right, see you soon. Let's start our shift. Download. Hi, Pan, welcome back. Wasn't there when someone asked for that? Yeah, I remember. I remember, but I do not remember who asked for the candle. <laughs> Oh, wait, we got new messages here. Um, good morning. Hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back. Uh, coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat when you when you can finally tell me all about what happened. So can't believe I won. I'm still shaking. That was amazing. Thanks, Finley. No. <laughs> she did well. Squirrel time. I would have really loved to go to the hibernation festival today. I'm sure you would. I'm sorry it didn't work out. It's okay. I've been having my own little hibernation festival right here. Just had a coffee with cream and hazelnut. It was the highlight of my day. You have an inflammation of the renal pelvis. Are you in pain? Yeah, but I'm trying not to let it get to me. All right, but don't make things too uncomfortable for yourself. We can always get you some painkillers if you want. For now, I'm going to give you some medication to help bring the swelling down. Let's take this one. Oh my god, you're shaking so much though. What the hell? Oh! I had a feeling it's not gonna be A anymore. <laughs> we're shaking too much. Please tell us if the pain gets any worse. Or if you have any problems urinating. You shouldn't really be drinking caffeine this late in the day, but you might find that coffee helps a little. Anyway, I wish you wonderful hibernation festival and a sound uh, night's sleep. Thank you. I'm definitely wide awake right now, I've got to admit. <laughs> and it probably wasn't a good idea. Oh, was it the granny? Oh, good evening, uh, Miss Van Gallen. I. It is important not to get rattled. After every inhalation comes an exhalation. Everything that is closed will one day be opened up again and vice versa. May I interrupt for a moment? 
Oh. Uh, hello, Finley. I didn't hear you come in. Uh, we were just lost in conversation. I bumped into dear Sonia this evening in the cafeteria. That's one way of putting it. I'd forgotten I was uh, meant to have an important meeting today. That's the... That's the... <laughs> the battle is working so much. Suddenly it got hard to breathe and I passed out again. Dr. Gatera brought me back here, back, back up here. I have uh, admit to a certain amount of luck. Benjamin from surgery happened to be passing through at the time too. It was a huge help in getting Sonia up here safely. Oh wait, D shouldn't we? Should we go to the second floor and say, was it somebody there? Hmm. Maybe I hope we can still go there after the shift. Thank you, Doctor Gutera. Um, do you have any recommendation for a course of treatment? Or what were you uh, talking about? Uh, this and that. Ourselves, the world. Help Miss Van Gallen breathe until she managed to calm down. Miss Van Gallen, I wish you all the best and a natural recovery for both my body and mind. I've already taken far too long of a break. Wish you both a pleasant evening. Thank you, you too. How are you feeling, Miss Van Gallen? Mm, I still feel a little sort of sorts a little out of sorts your blood pressure must have begun fluctuating you had an extremely high resting pulse when you first arrived here the drugs regulate your blood pressure dr gutera kept talking to me until i felt better he was seeing something about my inner core breathing exercises that kind of thing i tried yoga once not my cup of tea yes dr gutera has his own way of looking at things but he wasn't exactly wrong Hmm. Let me check your readings. You have to make sure that the drugs are working so you remain stable. All right. Dude, I'm always failing here. Oopsie. Yep. But it's also getting a bit harder, but I think we're still having B. And it is still B, that's good. I'm afraid medication will only go part of the way to solving your problem. Actually, I'm gonna grab some water, yeah? I am having a very dry mouth, so I'm gonna be right back. Alright, <laughs> I got my water here. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Stay hydrated, please. <coughs> my head is still exploding, actually. <coughs> but it's getting slowly better. It would be wise to develop ways to reduce stress. Unfortunately, this happens to a lot of people nowadays. But how am I supposed to avoid stress? Well, there are a few options, but you will need to work out what's what works best for you. They didn't teach us much about stress avoidance techniques at medical school, to be honest. The things that Dr. Gotera said, they kind of helped. I'm going to take a nap. Maybe I'll get lucky and catch Dr. Gotera again tomorrow. Rest well. Mm -hmm. Um, 
that's definitely a new patient, huh? Dr. Gerda? A Gnistorf? Finally! Bring me back a cup of black tea. Then tell Dr. Theobald that I want to speak to him. Um, I'm actually your attending physician. You're a doctor? Thank you, Ursula, save us. You're barely out of diapers. Do you sell... Do they sell medical degrees online now? Let's not lose sight of the matter at hand, Dr. Uh, Gnisdorf. You came to us today suffering from severe tremor, tremors. On top of that, you've been complaining of recurrent itching and muscle atrophy. atrophy. Liver cirrhosis. What? Liver cirrhosis? Are you deaf? Have you already been diagnosed? I can't see anything here. I'm a surgeon, child. I've had liver cirrhosis for longer than you've been alive. Accordingly, I'm aware of the high mortality rate once surgical intervention becomes necessary. That's why I'm here. So let's cut to the chase and get down to business. Okay. <laughs> well, that's going to be hard to treat another doctor. All right. What do we have? Maybe we should start with the pinkies first. Why should I take the double one? That was not a good idea. So this is already all right. But of course it can't stay like that. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm having too much blue and too much. Um, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm having too much blue. And now I'm missing orange and green. So I already did a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be one pill too much. All right, let me do this again. But I'm missing, hmm. <laughs> I think I got it now, right? No, I'm missing with the blue one, hmm. And those are already three, four. Four pills. I can take you with one more. Looking good. Your liver's readings are in the critical range. You don't say. To make sure it is cirrhosis of the liver we're dealing with, we need to do a liver biopsy. No. No? I already know it's cirrhosis of the liver. What do you take me for? Although I'm sure your accounting department will be third, if you carry out a few unnecessary procedures, they can charge me for. What if it's not liver cirrhosis? Do you have to teach you how to treat me right here? Listen. I... I like a drink, if you know what I mean. Excuse me? You shouldn't drink anything alcoholic if you're having a liver cirrhosis, to be honest. America? No, that, that doctor... Uh, I think this doctor has, has a lot of money, but just gave up on himself, to be honest. Must be in America. But he's just... He's the surgery... He's um, part of the surgery ward. So he definitely knows what he has, but... He keeps drinking alcohol. This is probably the, one of the reasons why he's having that. I'm talking about chronic alcohol abuse, you see? And your nursing staff insist I don't drink here. So now I have two problems. Alcohol withdrawal. And this blast of liver cirrhosis. 
According to the latest research, your symptoms could also be triggered by other diseases. New research. A lot of waffle that it's that's what it, what that is. Which is because of that she mentioned the price. Um yeah, but I don't think like money is uh, a big thing here, at least not for this person. Old school note at all doctors. Well, go ahead. I'm sure you know exactly what you're doing. Well, I'm feeling very uncomfortable around this person now. Great. There's, this is so unnecessary to be rude to, to other people. It's so insanely unnecessary. Yeah, you are frustrated, but it's not my fault. I'm trying to help here. I am done, Dr. Krukowski. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, everything's fine. You're right, the patients really are doing a little better today. I'm glad I'm on the night shift now. It's really quite pleasant. If you say so. Well, let's see. We should get a B, right? Not too bad. You were really quick today. I like that. <laughs> I have one more request for you. Of course. What? Irma. I mean, Mrs. Di Calma. I've been watching her tonight and she's not doing very well. We're going to lose her. I can feel it. I'm having a bad time. So that means everyone around me must also have a bad time. That mentality is way too common. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, everyone here is doing their absolute best and trying to help. But even we, even in this game, I'm taking my time as a doctor. This is so unrealistic in real life. Because they're never, never going to have so much time for you as a patient. He's just frust he's frustrated. She asked if the nice doctor would stop by again today. I think she means you. Why don't you go check on her? I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. Sure, I'd love to. I've got a gift I wanted to give her anyway. Yeah, I was her. Well, don't keep her waiting. Which room was it? She was one of the left rooms, but then we have to move to her away because of the because of the leak. 303? Irma? Hey Irma, how are you doing? Finley, what are you doing here? I thought you were out celebrating today. I was, it was great. I met a lot of people and the stew contest was really exciting. We got the fountain working again for the occasion. And look what I found, Irma. Dr. Fr <laughs> I mean, Finley must be really nice if patients ask her. <laughs> Finley. Mm -hmm. Or Dr. Mimi. <laughs> hmm. Can you smell that, doctor? The scent is just incredible. You've really made my day. I'm feeling much less shivery already. This brings back so many images for me. I'm a bit scared she's not going to make it through the night. Mm. So many memories from years gone by. From all the many hibernation festivals I've seen. It was your first one today, wasn't it? Yeah. But you should get some rest, Irma. All that talking gets to your lungs. No, it's all right. I need someone. I can... spin my yarns to. I am very tired. She's absolutely going to pass away in the next minutes. Especially with a candle over there. <laughs> but 
but I would like to tell you one last story. Irma? What do you mean by that? It's okay. What? No, it's not okay at all. We'll get you back on your feet, I promise. I'll get Dr. Krakowski right away. We'll figure it out. You've already done more than I can imagine. One last... No. Yeah. I think... Uh, my <laughs> where's my paper here? I'm gonna cry, I think. <laughs> but may I ask... <coughs> but may I ask... One more favor of you. Of course. What is it? I'd love another cup of tea. My throat's a little dry, you know. Of course, I... We... Now, Finley, don't fuss. It's all right. I'll just dash to the break room. We have tea there. I'll be right back. We always have hot water here, thank goodness. What kind of tea should I make? Peppermint tea, fruit tea, green tea, winter tea. Hmm. Oh, oops, I took black tea accidentally. I wanted to get the, the winter tea, actually. Okay, now I'd better get the straight terma. Finley, taking a break already? No, I... I'm just getting a cup of tea for, for a patient. Ah, oh, yes, old Irma has a taste for the finer things. Do you come with me, please? Irma isn't doing well at all. I know. I already went to see her and checked her readings. She's going to die. In the next few hours. But... We have to do something. What I'm going to do is make yourself a cup of tea too. How can you just walk in here like nothing's wrong? Why aren't you doing anything? I've already done everything I could. Sometimes even the best treatment in the world can't help Finley. But go to her. Make her last hours as comfortable as possible. That is our duty to her now. Make sure she has enough painkillers. Should we contact her son? I've already tried that too. Unfortunately, I have not yet been able to reach Giuliano. I'll keep trying and inform him of the situation. Go now. It must he's getting cold. Okay. Irma, I'm back. And I've got your tea. Irma? Mm, who? Oh, sorry, I must have dozed out for a minute there. Your darling, thank you so much. Just set it down there. I remember my first hibernation festival like it was yesterday. It was already very cold for the time of year. The cars and park benches were buried in snow. But the hibernation festival still had to go on, of course. Gilbert loved hot air balloons more than anything else in the world. But he also had a great fear of flying. 
And he wasn't the youngest anymore either. Neither of us were. So we compromised by heading to the countryside to watch the balloon race. At least we used to until it was banned. It was the hibernation festival. When Gilbert sat in a hot air balloon for the first time, there was already snow on the roads and the roofs of the houses. The lights, the smells. We were there every year. When it was cold outside and everyone started to come closer together. Speaking of cold, it's currently 14 degrees over here. Oh, lucky you. I'm having 26 degrees inside my room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm very jealous. I'd already bought a hazelnut candle and enjoyed some lovely conversations with plenty of laughter. When Gilbert secretly slipped away, he'd spotted a hot air balloon in the square. Back then, you could still book flights in the winter. They said you could see the whole town from up there. But that year, the balloon remained grounded. The weather was already bitterly cold and very windy. Then, all of a sudden, an icy gust of wind blew across the square. Hats and caps flew through the air. Mothers had to hold on to their children. <laughs> Considering Midsummer Fest has just been... At least we can see we're official on our way to winter again. I guess you're right. You're right with that. I actually forgot. Crazy. <laughs> Grandma stories are the best. <laughs> they are. And that gust of wind blew my Gilbert right into the basket of the balloon. When he picked himself up to climb back out again, he got the fright of his life. The balloon had broken loose and was already rising hundreds of feet above the town. We're halfway to Christmas again. Oh my god, it's I'm having 26 degrees. Why are you talking about Christmas? Stop it. <laughs> Even though I don't mind having um having colder weather right now. And me. I'd seen the whole thing and leaped desperately at a dangling rope to try and hold the balloon down. But instead, I simply floated away with it. Gilbert R. helped me into the basket and the wind carried us higher and higher into the wintry clouds. Porcupine was no more than a small pack of light in the fog. Eventually, it disappeared altogether. Gilbert could barely move due to his fear of heights. The cold bit into her skin. But I managed to cheer him up. His dream had finally come true. I reminded him, riding in a hot air balloon. That's also one of the experiences I will never forget. It was... magical. The world is so quiet up there. There is uh, no sound, it's just super quiet. And everything is just super small and moving very slowly. It's fascinating. Well, I guess it's not for people who are scared of the height. <laughs> but I felt very safe there. I want to do this as well. You should, if you have the opportunity, you should really do it. It was... A magical um, experience. I will never forget this. Yeah, I gifted this to my mom and we did this together. I even took some pictures of that. The, the landscapes were just so beautiful. I had my professional camera with me. <laughs> and I was holding it very, very tightly so I wouldn't drop it down. Unfortunately, we soon realized that the burner was frozen. But then I remembered the hazelnut candle I'd bought. So Gilbert and I made ourselves comfortable in the basket of the balloon and lit the candle to keep warm. 
I don't know how long we sat there, but it was indescribably beautiful. Anyone want some hot chocolate? Hot chocolate? <laughs> to buy milk too. You can also do with this, uh, with uh, hot water. Yeah, you could also do that. Just us, the sky and the clouds, and the scent of the haze on that candle. Suddenly, there was a bang. The burn had started up again. The heat from the hazelnut candle had thawed it out. Gilbert quickly figured out how to steer the balloon. Even the altitude didn't bother him anymore. But how would we know which way to go? Then, before we could even begin to worry again, I heard it very softly. The hibernation hymn. The song everyone in Porcupine sings together for the Hibernation Festival. We strained our ears and Gilbert steered the balloon straight toward the song. Eventually, Porcupine emerged from the fog. The beautifully decorated marketplace, the snow-covered roofs, and the festival goers. What a sight. They had broken into song to help us find our way back. Gilbert landed right in front of the fountain, and all the crowd cheered. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. Maybe some people don't know that, but when you're doing a balloon ride like this, you actually don't know where you're gonna land. Um, <laughs> you, of course, um, you're gonna look out where you were about to land, but you don't know the exact location. And my pilot, they were always in contact with uh, with the drivers um, on the ground, so they could tell them their their GPS. Um, and another interesting thing is, um, they showed us the position when you're about to land. You should always go down to your knees, because it is actually it is actually quite rough when you're landing. It's always looking smooth, but it's still a basket, and you're landing still very roughly and it's happening very fast as well it's like an airplane i mean this is also happening very fast going up and down um but yeah you're standing inside and you need to take care of your of your legs yeah <laughs> i can um i'm i'm happy i could do this experience actually so were we landing them? Yes, hi <laughs> Tsukini. Basically, you are looking out for uh, for fields, um, and um, of course, you don't want to land inside the city or where there are a lot of electrical wires. This is super dangerous, of course. So you're you're about to look. the The pilot is always looking around where they could land and stuff like that. And I I heard something very not heard, but we were also talking about the winds. You would think it's it's absolutely windy up there. Um, we had a very calm day, but one thing you were never doing is um, you were starting right early in the morning. I think I woke up that day at 4 a.m. and I think we started around 6 or something um, because we we used the winds um, coming starting with the day, you know. Every time there is a new day starting, uh, the, the, um, the earth heating is uh, earth is eating, heating it heating itself up oh goodness what is this english and uh, you're using this um air dynamics um to get up and also get down so in the morning is that's the the best way to do that <laughs> well gilbert landed right in front of the fountain and all the crowd cheered <laughs> And that's the story, more or less, of how my Gilbert and I took flight together for the first <laughs> and last time. He died the following year. I'll be reunited with him soon. And then we'll fly together again. My Gilbert's... Okay, that was too fast. Are they still playing the hibernation hymn in the square? 
Maybe, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I think I can hear it, just faintly. Yes, they're probably still celebrating and here's the two of us stuck working the night shift at the hospital, huh? You're doing a good job. With the work, but I... Irma? I made it. To the... To the hibernation. This must be, this must be very, very hard for someone who just started their job in the hospital. I think you're not, never gonna forget your first patient's passing away. I hope Finley's gonna be okay. Now it's winter. Hi, Sinister. Good day to you. Welcome to the stream. I'm looking cute, though. <laughs> I expect lots of snow outside because it's just romantic, right? <laughs> of course. I'm so sorry for my friend Alfio. He must he must be so cold. Wow, looks like someone got out of the wrong side of bed this morning. What happened? Did you enjoy the hibernation festival? Things aren't so great right now, Alfio. Can I help you? No. No. When I worked at the hospital, it was rough, especially during the pandemic. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. R at the beginning, it was... Goodness, I was so worried. I was insanely worried. I'm glad things are under control now. But still, people who are working in the hospital, they are always just working, working. They have really free time doing double shifts. And at some point, they're getting burned out. I'm pretty sure walruses aren't really bothered by the cold. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I hope so. <laughs> And I was in the main facility where it broke it in my state. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's get off. Uh, let's get our daily mind of conscious here. Finley. Hello. You don't look so good. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're in a reverse, reverse bursting at bangs. Yeah, you could say that. How are things with your sister? I told her about your stream of consciousness idea. Two twigs clinging together to stem the current. We cried for a full hour. Oh, that's a good thing, I hope. It is. Soon the reverse student will become its master, right, Finley? You mean me? Not yet, but soon, perhaps. <laughs> wow. Well, next, I'll teach you how to choose the right camping chair. I don't know if I'm ready for that.
Well, this bag is still here. Hmm. Ah, wait for the bus or walk. Let's walk a bit. Maybe it's a good idea to visit our friend to cheer us up a bit. Good evening, Kev. Hello, hello. Monsieur Kev, how are you doing? I'm not hungry. It's uh, really cold today. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm glad all display windows have a double glazing. That will get many customers in this uh, weather, so maybe it's the right today to take a little time off. Maybe. Close for the day. Hmm. I can't interact with this one though. Oh, hey. Guess I picked the wrong day to go shopping. Most of the stores are closed. Oh, I can't interact with the wall. See you later. Hi, Tuggy. See you later. Oh, wait. I want to talk to you. Finley. Is this everything all right? Not really, if I'm honest. It's Irma, isn't it? Juliana called me this morning. I'm already making a memorial figure in. It's so sad. I was really fond of old Irma. She was my patient. I was there when she died. <laughs> well, well, well. Dry Jara. It been fro. Oi, call a kin and learn to have and Sophia cutie. Oh, no. <laughs> Murder them all. No. <laughs> From wholesome to... To what? To create a bit of craziness. Dear Sinister, thank you so much. I'm going to say this in German again because uh, my, my text-to-speech uh, can't speak German. Well, well, well. Drei Jahre, ich bin froh, euch alle kennengelernt zu haben. Dear Sinister, three years of support. That's crazy. Actually crazy. Thank you so much for all the support through the years. Through all these years, actually. Thank you so much. I am also very, very happy that I met you. I'm very, very happy about that. Thank you so, so much for all the support. But that, so that text sounds like you were saying goodbye to me. It's like, it was nice meeting you. But now, farewell. A fair farewell, not in Danish. <laughs> now, take care, have a good life. It sounds a bit like that. <laughs> oh, dear Jan, thank you so much for the bed. Thank you. No, don't don't say goodbye forever. No, it sounds like goodbye forever. Are you leaving? Are you leaving us? Thank you, dear Jan. Thank you so much for the bed. Oh, it's a, it's a hype chain. It's actually a hype chain. But I think you need to reach level two, though. Good luck with uh, with uh, with getting an emote then. Thank you so much for all the support. And Cookie, no, we can murder them all, but they are dying automatically anyway because they're old and sick and all this kind of stuff. Ah, oh, dear Cookie, 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 thank you so much for the twenty-one month. Thank you so much. Almost two years of support. Two years of support. I've got such a dry mouth. Give me a second. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much for the bits um, and uh, for the subs. Thank you. And good evening. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. The text to speech uh, sound like how American actually speak. Her. <laughs> that is very true. That is very true. Um, I just think German is such a hard language to speak. Huh? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Suggestion was saying it this way. What was it? A dry yara im ich bin froh euch. Alle kennen gelernt so hard. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. <laughs> but this is why I love accents and dialects and all this kind of stuff because it's so unique. 
I love that. <laughs> Thank you guys for the support. If maybe times me out again, I, I might. <laughs> what did he do? Oh, but that you wanted to ban yourself a bit, right? That was um, with the redeeming points. Thanks to Des. Big thanks to Des for the for the support and uh, for the gift itself then. I tried to learn some German. I was kicking my booty. It's hard, huh? It is actually hard. I, I can imagine. But a lot of a lot of words are the same, but we're pronouncing things so different. So so different. Mm. I think if you are I I had the problem at the beginning with French, but like two weeks of having French at school, you're learning how to pronounce things uh, at the beginning, but yeah, it's uh it's probably something you need to you just have to learn how to pronounce things, right? No. American speaking German is is the most beautiful thing ever. I I also think it's very very cute. That's so awesome. <laughs> I I like it a lot. It's it's like really trying hard but still messing up a bit and it's just so adorable. Ich spreche kein Deutsch, nur ein bisschen. Ich ne parle pas français. No hablo español. <laughs> I just like how some word in French got five letters, but only two are used, like um. <laughs> Dude, Danish is not different. They are swallowing a lot of letters because they are so lazy. And I am finally understanding, after one year of learning Danish, I'm finally understanding the sketch. Uh, um, uh, what was the sketch number? Norwegian uh, Norwegian comedians sketched the Danish one. And it's... No, it's not smart. It's insanely lazy. It's insanely lazy. It was also in my in my in my learning book. Uh, I read it yesterday that Danish people are swallowing a lot of the letters, and which is which is making it very hard to understand. But I am slowly getting there. Slowly. But my pronunciation is horrible, and I think it will be all forever for horrible because I was reading also. Um, People living in Denmark for 20 years and people are still saying, hey, you're not you're not Danish. You're German, right? <laughs> They're gonna always hear hear this out. And I'm a person who's always taking care of how to pronounce or I'm watching out how to pronounce things properly, but this is just so hard. Danish is very hard. I'm actually I'm really thinking of switching to Norwegian. French was easier for me since I'm Hispanic and there was some stuff that was easy. That is true. I learned I learned French first, and then um, after after three no after four years I switched to to Spanish, and it was so much easier. Especially the grammar grammar was so much easier. They're very similar. Just the uh, the pronunciation is a bit different in in in, in French, but you can get used to it. Um, Sometimes universities are offering uh, some kind of uh, language courses. I'm actually also thinking about doing this with Danish. Yeah, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm just doing it for fun right now. If you're swallowing letters, just stop using them. Don't keep them. <laughs> They're just so lazy. They're just so lazy. F. This abomination means X, and you literally only say. The first letter F. <laughs> I know, I know. But um, it is it is nice when you are speaking French. Yeah, it's that's also lazy. In Danish, it's the same. <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm also understanding Norwegian a bit now because of, of the Danish. I should have started nor learning Norwegian first. It's easier to pronounce things because you guys are not swallowing the letters. And it sounds so cute. Russian is fun to learn. Not hard at all. No? I always thought it's hard. But it's also probably... I was thinking because of the Kirill, you know? It's called like that, uh, like that, right? It just doesn't make sense why F pronounce F. <laughs> but F doesn't uh, anymore. But that's just French in general. If you are paying attention, you would hear a very slight difference. Very, very slight difference. It's the same when you are when there is something is something in plural or the female version. You need to listen very, very carefully. Then you could hear a s slight difference, but it's very hard for a person who who's just uh, learning the yeah the French language. 
I once considered also learning Russian, but then stuff happened. Yeah, I was um, reading a bit the news today and things are going crazy actually. Right now, I'm I'm curious how things gonna end up. I'm very, very curious. But let's not get political here. Um, where were we? Oh yeah, I was there when she died. Oh wait, I need to, oh why, I, I'm typing in chat. <laughs> I couldn't do anything for her. I, I'm so sorry to hear that, Finlay. That must have been awful. I don't know how I feel yet. I hardly slept, even though I was exhausted after the night shift. I thought I was prepared for, the, for something like this. Not the first time. No, not the first time. But Irma was... I know Finlay. Everybody knew Irma. Everyone loved her. And she was lucky you were her doctor. I'm late. We can talk m more another time, okay? I would have expected she's like, yeah, okay. Please, Finley, take care of yourself. So don't worry, everything is going to be okay again. But she, she turned around and she didn't speak to me anymore. Okay. <laughs> Sudden snowfall took many by surprise. Some schools and kindergartens have closed for the day. Many people are happy to see the snow, though some fear it will herald another flu epidemic. Irma got an obituary. Didn't think they'd get that printed so quickly. The vegetables have almost frozen. Well, at least they won't go bad. Maybe I should invest in some property. I could settle down, live the easy life. Oh wait, that's right. I don't have any money. <laughs> I feel you, Finley. <laughs> I feel that. Ah, hi, Esdrenix. Hello there. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. And those buildings are looking like yeah, they're having actually money. <laughs> Uh, b I probably asked this already some time ago, but you did finish Entropy Center, right? No, I didn't. I still need to start. And it's not even a big game, right? It's a smaller one. Look, isn't the snow great? Everything's white. What should I do today? Build a snowman? Make snow angels go sledding. Challenge Krista to a, a snowball fight. Krista was the fox, Jan, I think. That was his name. Wee! Too many choices. <laughs> Are you all right? You look ill. Did you catch the virus at the hospital? No, no, I'm fine. Phew, that's all right then. Gotta go, Doc. The day is short, and who knows how long snow is gonna last. True. I just played four hours of football. I was exhausted. How are you, Mimi? Um, I didn't play four hours of football. <laughs> football. <laughs> football. Um, but I'm very sleepy. My head is hurting today. How was? Uh, how was football? Did you win, son? <laughs> it took eight hours for me. Then it's definitely a shorter game. Well, I still need to play it. You're here every day, aren't you? What are you doing here all day? Hmm. Nothing much, really. Krista says we're here for skating. 
but he's just sitting around all day. I mean, you believe that this is what skating is all about. <laughs> the school always looks kind of empty. There aren't that many children in Porcupine. Most people are here. You're older. That's why there isn't that much to do for us around here. And I think skating is boring. What would you like to do? Mm, good question. I like stories. I always love to write. And I'd love to come up with a story one day. Maybe for a comic or something like that. I collect comics, but Christo isn't really into them. Well, do you have any ideas? Sure thing. <laughs> do you want to tell me about your ideas for your comic? No, they're really bad. Come on, I'd love to hear them. It's not even finished yet. Maybe I can help you. Mm, when, when I was young, I'd always make up stories. Really? So you're like a writer? Sure, something like that, even if I'm too busy procrastinating on my PhD thesis right now. <laughs> wow. Okay, so do you really want to hear about my idea? Of course. Always. I drew the first game, then lost the other two. I did score some nice goals, though. That sounds still like uh, fun. Don't don't put a sad face there. <laughs> it's okay. It's about hanging out with uh, with the people as well, right? Not just about winning. Of course, it's better to win. <laughs> sure, go on. Mm, okay, so the story is set on a distant planet, and it's about a brave, strong, super cool heroine. She can do all kinds of stuff, and she's just the coolest. Yeah. Oh, so that's it. Yeah, I told you I wasn't finished yet. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like my story? Um, that... It could be a bit better. It's... Not bad for the beginning. Really? You think so? Yeah, sure. Uh, do you want us to brainstorm your story together? Why should I tell a kid your story is bad? That's... Even I know that's something you shouldn't tell a kid. Sure thing. Excellent. So first we need a name for the planet. The story begins on a distant planet called... Um, Magitopia. What do you think about Fintopia? No, I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's so much cooler. You're really a writer. <laughs> Next, the uh, Harry needs a name. Mm, any ideas? Mm. How about Magatha? She's strong and tall and brave and she has many friends. Theirs has to be better named. Do you have any other ideas? Sure thing. I can feel it. It's Magatha. It's uh, as if I've known her for years already. I'm getting goosebumps. Yay! It's going to be awesome. Magatha, the saber of Magitopia. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible, but I'm not gonna say to a kid, your story is kaka. Story is trash. That's gonna be so devastating. Nah. Second place is just the first loser. <laughs> is this how you're seeing this cookie? How does that yuck see anything? He's just peeking through through all that hair, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. It already feels so much more real. But oh man, being a writer is so hard. Do you want to leave it for now? Yeah, I think I need a creative break. I'll sleep on it for a while and think about my story. Do you come here often? Brainstorming was fun. You could be my co-author. I'd love to. I'll come by as soon as I find the time. Awesome. See you on round two. Uh, this is going to be the best comic ever. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <laughs> what was the 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 planet called? A Megaton or something, right? Messenger. Great, my messenger is broke though. Okay, great. <laughs> um, no, Maggie. Today I met Maggie at the schoolyard, and together we randomly decided to try and come up with a story for a comic book. She needs some time to think if things over. I should visit her again another day. Oh, that's why we were talking about this. So, so, 
we were talking so much about Maggie and Maggie, t Maggie Town and whatever. Winning is fun, baby. Just kidding. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Of course, I know. I know that. No, but I, I, I just know this uh, <laughs> from what watch long, long time ago. <laughs> Let's see if Christo is even here. The cool fox. Nope. Talking about the long hair, by the way, I am I'm having an appointment at the hair cutter for Wednesday, but I'm probably only letting the tips cut. Sounds fancy. So you're gonna have longer hair? I actually like longer hair on, on guys a lot. It's been 84 years. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, Christopher Jan. No, I'm sorry. That that fox is too cool for us. Well, one and a half years of growing now. That's crazy. Actually, I'm never going to the hairdresser. I'm 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 rarely doing this. But my hair is growing insanely fast. Nothing. <clears throat> no, not today. The snow is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, but not in the mood. Already longer than I initially planned, but I like it. That's good, as long as you were happy with that. Maybe I'll send a pic and discord after the appointment. I'm excited to see them, but no pressure. <laughs> the snowy landscape is missing, making me miss winter. <laughs> Pan, you were the one who said like, I've got... Wait, you were like this. I've got enough of Finnish winter. <laughs> Soon, in a couple of months again. Maybe even weeks. <laughs> Just teasing you a bit. I want to see Finley's big, uh, big eyes again. That's how pants are. Yeah, exactly. I knew it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've got... I've got actually one button for pan. I sense a dark cloud over you, young one. You had a death on your ward, right? It's never pretty, that's for sure. But the river of life flows and regardless. Let it carry you. We'll all get swept into the great sea of eternity one day. Yeah, that's true. I can confirm, cheeky. <laughs> I need to take to take you. <laughs> Morning. Have a nice weekend. Uh, why the gloomy face? Morning, Ingrid. I'm not in a great mood. Is this because of Mrs. Tikalma? Mm. I'm sorry, kid. Really. I like the old lady, too. I was hoping I'd feel better after the weekend. Well, I guess you're just one of those people who feels a lot for others. Just make sure it doesn't become a problem for you. That's part of our profession, kid. Try to focus. There's enough living people around here who need your help. I get it, though. They always say that for his death really sticks with you. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll focus on trying my best. That's the spirit. Mm. 
Well, back to work. Back to business. Finley, I heard the news this morning. Do you want to talk? Maybe grab a coffee or something? No. I want to get my work done first. Okay. If you want to talk later, just come and find me, okay? Good morning, Finlay. How are you? All right, I think a patient died yesterday. You're patient. I imagine Irma's death is still on your mind. Nevertheless, I would ask that you don't let your performance levels drop. We can't let these things affect your work. Got it. You can rely on me. You know the drill. We'll talk again once you've finished treating your patients. Try to make this a good day, Finley, in spite of everything. Good luck. Oh, one more thing. I am a dad of complications from pneumonia. She was old. Her immune system just couldn't hold everything off. She remained stable for a while. However, her condition worsened during her stay here. These things happen sometimes. The incident with the water damage in her room probably didn't help either. Well, what I'm trying to say is... You did nothing wrong. I've even made a note to that effect in my report. I assigned you to treat Irma. And that was the right decision. I'm sure of it. Wow. Still feeling a bit guilty, huh? All right, let's check out the patients. And I can also check out my message here. Um, I'll be making a memorial figure in today. Gonna make sure it's a good one. Come by and tell me if you need to talk, okay? I would like to be there when she's putting the figure in into the forest. Hello, how are you today, Vivo? I'm doing okay. What about yourself? I'm doing good. Just my head is a bit exploding. Actually, I'm gonna drink something. So, stay hydrated, chat. Alright, let's go. That's another... Oh, 301. <clears throat> You're Emma, right? Okay. Miss Emma Strawberry Yogurt, right? <laughs> no! I'm Emma Smith. Oh, right, that's what it says here. <laughs> I must have read it wrong. How are you feeling, Emma Smith? <laughs> Strawberry Yogurt. <laughs> mm, that would be nice now, huh? <gasps> Hi, Olive Oniferis. Hello there. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I am good. Exams ended final. That's a relief to hear. You're probably also very relieved, right? Finally, then. Does it mean you've got holidays now? Is it is it official? I miss my home and I've got tummy ache too. You did get some pills, didn't you? But it's still not better yet? No. All right, let's take a closer look at what's up with your tummy then. All right, uh, let's start with a skull, foot, tooth, bone, and we're having a brain. <clears throat> well, that was not good. Um, two items, the solution contains a symbol. But I don't know which one. Mm -hmm. Stomach. Which symbol? Oh, is it the first and the second? Pla no. I'm a little bumped off, but now I'll sit here and relax. Time to relax then. We're just chilling and trying not to murder my patients. Just too at random, okay. Mm. 
Let's see. We're gonna try it out. I mean, I could be also cheeky and just put the... Ah, nah, never mind. Let's put the skull here. Just guessing. Tooth here. And maybe a foot here. I got three. Okay, but nothing is on position. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, we could put the skull here, right? Could be also here, but not here. Let's put the. What was new? One of the drop was new. So let's switch this a bit. And the foot could go here. And the tooth, maybe here. Da -da, da -da -da. Mm -hmm. I wish I had. As many holidays like those <laughs> darn Europeans, you need these laws as well. It's crazy to me that this is that this is not existing in America. I'm not even sure. Let let me do the double skull. Okay. <laughs> So, maybe it is not even the skull. The second row was still the best. Okay, let me put the, the tooth here. Um... He only hates me to no why should i there's no reason to hate hate is such a strong word <gasps> who's singing there sas is singing look at him just for you chat I didn't try any hands as well. Damn, I'm completely failing this time. We were so good at the beginning. Now, okay, the pitches are getting harder. <laughs> okay. Mm, maybe drops here. But it could be also here. The tooth where um, the tooth was everywhere, so it can't be the the tooth anymore. Maybe the skull belongs here. I don't know. I'm still waiting for my German cereal. <laughs> Honestly, I think they're the ones in your country that are so much better. I wonder if there is actual math to this uh, puzzle. I also wonder. Maybe. Mm. The drop. Could be here or here. Or it has something to do with the brain. I didn't use the bone here anymore. Why should I do this in the fourth row again? The foot. I could use the foot somewhere. Like this? Wait. And the tooth, I wanted to re replace that as well. And the stomach. Oop. <gasps> wow, I found one! 
found one and now it's about the right position okay um still other missing um symbol though i didn't use a hand here Okay, stomach. Where am I gonna put the stomach? Here. And the drop, I didn't use it here so far. The foot was here at some point, but it was not working. Also, the foot was here, so it was not working. Foot was also here, it was not working. So it's most likely not the foot. Except here. I didn't use it here so far, but okay. But it could be also the drop. <laughs> and this can be the stomach. We had the skull already, foot, nope. Tooth. I used the tooth on so many places. Nope, bone. Bone? No, I didn't even. Mm -mm. A brain. Maybe the brain belongs here. But the drop can't be here. <laughs> A hand? Bone? Okay, let me try this. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um We tried a lot of things. Skull nope. Stomach. We already have a stomach. The drop belongs here, right? Yeah, now I got it. It should be still A? Is it A? No, B, right? It's still B. All right. We didn't completely mess up. It took me a bit longer. I think your pain is because of your food allergy. I read that you're not allowed to eat certain things. Is that right? Mm, yeah. So are you watching what you're eating then? No, but... <laughs> what is it, Emma? Well, Gerda said that after the hibernation festival, you can eat as many nuts as you want. Um, is Gerda your mom? No, my mom's name is Mom, and she's away. So who's Gerda then? Gerda Niesdorg? I always visit her when I'm not homesick. She's a doctor, like you? Um, wait a minute. Do you mean Dr. Gniesdorf? Yeah. Can you do me a favor, Emma? Okay. Please don't eat any more nuts. I'm sorry, but your tummy doesn't like nuts. Not even after the hibernation festival. Oh. It's, it's mean, I know, but your tummy aches are mean too, aren't they? Yes. So you keep off the nuts and we'll think of some nice things for you and your tummy to eat, okay? Mm, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Dr. Gniesdorf, uh-huh. Why would you say that? Uh, we need to go to the left side now. Mr. Batman, bee ba 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 da ba. Good morning, Miss Van Gel. Is it that time already? Your colleague said you'd be checking on me again today. Well, looks like she was right. Uh, shall we get straight to it? I'm sure you want to get back home too. Okay. Um, four pills. What do we have here? Um, well, I need lots of pink pills. But the pink pills are dependent on the yellow ones. Okay. I can only do this once. 
and I need to put some yellow ones again. Mm -hmm. Red and green are all right. Same as yellow, but pink, orange, pink and orange. I can give two more pills. What about this? One more time. This is looking good. I think we made it. Boop. Ta-da. Yep. I'm seeing a significant improvement. You know what? I'm actually feeling a lot better today. Better than I have in years. I feel like I'm really aware of my surroundings again. Sounds like the medication's doing its job. So how do you keep the burps apart? They always look so... <laughs> Every bird is insanely unique. The problem is you guys are not seeing them often. If you're living with them for many, many years and they're your babies, you, you even recognize, even recognize their voices. Um, you know what they're eating, what they're disliking, um, all this kind of stuff. I think it's probably the same when you're having twins and people are going to say, yeah, what's the difference? There's always some kind of a different part. But my, my boys are not, uh, they're not even twins. So you, you just need to, <laughs> you just need to live with them. Then you're going to know the difference. It's not hard. <laughs> but I actually forgot about the burp cam. <laughs> we already coded that in today, Pan. If you use Astronix, then make sure he loses. <laughs> Stop it, Astronix! Stop it! <laughs> no, I didn't do that. But the bot wants to do whatever it wants. <laughs> Sounds like the medication is doing its job. Yes. But I think there is more into it than that. I managed to talk to Dr. Gatara again. And it was... Like he tore down a wall inside me. Suddenly I saw everything I used to think was important in a different light. I've decided to change my life around completely. I don't want to end up here again. I want to be able to focus on other things instead of just living for my job. I caught my boss this morning and I requested four weeks off. That's great. That's not what she thought. She threatened to fire me on the spot. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be, I'm the island, I'm the sea, and maybe unemployed. But I don't care at all, and that's great. I'll do my exercises and follow my heart more. Thank you for helping me. I'll make sure to thank Dr. Gotter again before I leave too. Have a great day. And look after yourself. <laughs> Dang, sorry guys, I put our attention to the verb jam. <laughs> what is Sas even doing? He's nibbling, right? No, he's cleaning himself right now, but he's going to nibble very soon as you can. <laughs> Little boys. The real question is, how do we tell Mimi apart from the burps? Nobody knows. Maybe I'm also a bird. I'm a robot bird. <laughs> All right. I, I dislike this patient a lot because he's just insanely rude. Now, my dear colleague, what's your assessment of your health status? My withdrawal symptoms are diminishing, and so is the pain. Good. Do you mind if I examine you? That's why I'm here for. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't do this for a long time. Wow. I actually use, need to use uh, two hands sometimes. Because they were too far away. Ta-da! We still have A, right? Yes. Gotta take a shower if you're back. Do that. Good idea. We're going to keep increasing your vitamin B1 and energy intake. Your liver is on the mend. Are you sure? Nonsense. My liver said it. The readings are clear. Really? You came to us just in time. Be free to take a look for yourself. We'll have to keep you here for a, more, a few more days for observation. 
If you want to keep in a living, you need to keep off alcohol. Forever. Clear, honest words. I like it. Maybe something will come of you after all in the distance. Far of future. But what I do or don't do is none of your business, understand? I've given you my medical opinion. What you do with it is entirely up to you. Yep. Wait, did I hello say hello to you, Josh? I can't remember doing that. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello. All done? Mm, yep. It took you longer than usual today. But given the circumstances, I'm willing to turn a blind eye to you. You don't have to say hello to me, Stray. I'm always here with Stoll. That's, that's exactly one of the reasons why I want to say hello to you. <laughs> because you're, you're actually pretty much always here. Boys, stop fighting! Let's see. <gasps> We're getting an A again. Nice. It's been a while. <laughs> what have you got for me today? I don't have anything for you. Dr. Theobald was asking after you. Oh, really? I couldn't say. However, he did uh, ask if I could give you the rest of the day off. I'm not happy about it, but I said yes. I guess it must be something important then. Do you think I should go to his office? You can if you like, but you won't find him there. How do you know? Because he's just made himself comfortable in our break room. Oh, well, that's strange. But just the way it is. Or he is. Guess I'll pop in and see him then. As you wish. Kind of late, so I might go now. Good night, people. Good night, Pansley. Well. We're gonna grab a coffee here. Coffee. Finley, there you are. Thank you for coming. Uh, sure, Dr. Theobald. What can I do for you? Mm, nothing, nothing. But I wanted to talk to you. First of all, <laughs> I would like to say, say thank you. You've done an excellent job these past few days. Thanks. Is that all you wanted? No, not at all. I heard about Irma de Kama's passing, of course. A tragedy, truly. Like so many others here in Porcupine, I knew Irma well and liked her a lot. I'll miss her very much. The whole town will. But you were the one who looked after her and were there for her in, in her final days. Is Irma the first patient who starred under your care? Yeah. Well, that's very kind uh, of checking checking out I'm doing here. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. It's not uncommon to struggle getting your rhythm off your mind the first time. I still remember my first time too. I think I know what you mean. I think about Mrs. Dikama a lot. Just try not to let those thoughts affect you too much. After all, there are still plenty of other people depending on your help. Don't get distracted from looking out for, th for them. It's Uma's funeral service this afternoon. It will be held by Gilberts. Juliana hosts most of the funerals in this town. I'm sure this one will be especially hard for him. You should be there. You feel better afterwards, believe me. You mean I can go to the service? You were excused for the rest of the day. And I'm I'm sure Mrs. Dikama would have invited you anyway. Hm. Okay then. I'll be there. Thank you, Dr. Theobald. No, no need to thank me, Finley. Say goodbye to the old lady for me. Hm. Seymour, what did you do to her, Ma? I swear it wasn't my fault. No, she she was old and her pneumonia, I think it was called. It was just too much for her immune system. She she didn't make it, unfortunately. But we brought her the, the hazelnut um, candle from the hibernation festival. 
and she told her she told us her last story and I was very emotional and now we're going uh, to the funeral why are you, why are you thinking I killed her hmm that's kind of sus. <laughs> oh wait, I went to the to the basement. Wait, no, I have to go here. Because you save everyone but not her. I I really tried my best. Turns out she was allergic to it. <laughs> that would be horrible. Take care, kiddo. And don't sleep on the snow. I already pulled something in my back this morning. Um, okay. Well, you know where I am. I'm not hungry. Can I interest you in a cut cup of uh, coffee? Perhaps a tea or a saffron roll? No, thanks. Sorry, I've got somewhere else to be. Sure thing. We're never purchasing anything here. This poor boy is gonna go ba bankrupt soon. Yeah, we gotta buy some coffee <laughs> or at least tea or a cup of hot chocolate. I'm never supporting the locals here. Well, we actually don't have time. We need to go to the to the funeral. So you're here too, young one. It's good to see you. The roller coaster of life never stops, does it? A few days ago, we gathered to celebrate. Today, we gathered to weep. Hmm. Finley. Hey, Giuliano. I'm so sorry. I wish I had more. Finley. It's okay. Thank you for coming. I know we haven't known each other long, but it means a lot to me. Please make yourself at home. There is food and drink. Yeah, go ahead, take a seat. Just... Just make yourself at home. Is there really nothing I can do for you? Come to think of it? There is uh, one thing, actually. Anything you want. What is it? I think there is a colleague of yours here, too. He didn't hang around long. Just stood in the corner and didn't talk to anyone. Then I think he went out the back door. I haven't seen him since. Do you go see if he's still there? I check myself, but I've got my hands full. So here I am asking you for... Yeah, for your help again. It's no problem, Giuliano. I'd be happy to do that for you. Thank you. Mm hmm... I'm sure Pina made the figure in. It's such a nice tradition. I'm proud of you, Pina. Finley looking towards the door still, right? I'm such a cutie. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Did you know Irma? Of course. I love stopping to chat to her during my rounds. She was always sitting at a window with a plate of cookies next to her. She always made me all coffee on cold days. I love one of her coffees. I would love one of her coffees right now. <laughs> Irma. I can't believe she just died like that. It's so unfair. Well, you're here. Sorry, Finlay. I know how much you liked Irma. How are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just happy I could be here today. Me too, even if it has been a bit stressful for me. But I'd do anything for Irma. If there is anything I can do for you, just say okay. Okay? Hey, Finley. Ted, you're here too. Of course, I've really fallen in love with this little bar. I didn't know there was a funeral today. And I didn't know the deceased at all. But I'd still like to be here for the wake. I'm sure Juliana will be glad to see you. I hope so. It's the housemeister. The janitor. Gregor, you here too? Get lost, kid. Don't you want to come inside? The service is about to start. No. There is food and drink too. Lots of people are here. Leave me alone. Okay. Why is he even here then? Maybe he just wants to be alone for a while. Sorry for bothering you. It's all my fault. Mm. What do you mean? I'm doing the best I can. I know the hospital relies on me. I'm the one who's supposed to look after it, after all. Oh, because of the pipes, right? If the old lady hadn't got sicker, if that water damage hadn't happened, if I'd just taken better care of the hospital, then maybe she wouldn't have... This is my burden to bear. I'll never forgive myself. All those people in there. See the way they look at me. They know it's my fault. It's not your fault. I felt the same way. I was the one treating her right up until the end. I still believed she'd get better. I didn't want to face the fact that she was going to die. But in the moment she passed, I knew she was at peace with it. She was old, her body was weak, and she was happy. She didn't want people looking after her all the time. And that's okay. I did my best. Maybe you did too. But sometimes things crumble and collapse anyway. Sometimes we have to say goodbye to people. Sometimes we can't help them. I'm going in now. You can come with me if you want. I can't. I'm gonna stay here. Okay. But if you change your mind, just know that you'll be welcome. Sure, whatever. I should go. I don't want to disturb the ber bereaved. You should do what feels right for you. No one's forcing you to stay. Yeah, you're right. Let's go in. If we go in at the same time, they won't all be staring at me. And I can slip away quickly if I need to. That sounds good. Sometimes life doesn't stick to the script. No. No, it doesn't. Oh? Okay. 
Was he listening to us? I feel there is a hidden message in this game. I think so too, yeah. But I, right now I don't have a good feeling. What was that? <laughs> Wait, is that a horse riding another horse? Hmm. Raw, raw, <laughs> raw, <laughs> raw fear to rustle some feathers. Please don't pick up, pluck my feathers though. So, did you find him? Mm, yeah, he is the janitor at the hospital, but he doesn't want to come in. I think he needs some time to himself. I think we all do. I'm glad he's here though. Speaking of which, how are you holding up? I'm coping. But please let me know if there is anything I can do. I will, my friend. Please sit down. It's about to start. Dear guests, could I have your attention for a moment? Thank you all for your coming. I, I can barely bring myself to speak. But last night, Irma... My dear mother passed away. She's, she was a real talker, always telling stories. And she was surrounded by people who loved her. That's you guys. Thanks for that, all of you. When, when I was little, she taught me to play an instrument. She practiced with me. And I hated every second of it. But, but when I was playing, her eyes would just light up. I wish she could look at me that way again. I want to play a very special song for you. A song Irma requested every time I picked that instrument up. I remember one day it was really frosty when I had to deliver my letters. <laughs> Run at break, cookie, you monster. <laughs> Actually, cookie monster. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna push that button after the scene. It's not the instrument I was expecting. Which instrument were you expecting? I, w I was actually thinking it's a guitar. But that's the main theme of this game. When you're starting the game, it's also running in the background. It's nice that everyone is thinking of her now and telling their stories and sharing the, yeah, the moments together. I slipped on a patch of ice. My whole mail bag fell into the river with all the letters still inside it. And I tore my cruciate ligament. Irma not only helped me fish every single letter out of the river, she even dried them, restored them and delivered them for me. Irma walked with my parents in a restaurant. Things had been going down for a while when Irma came up with a new dish. Rainbow beet gratin. It was a hit before long. It, it was the only dish anyone wanted. Irma and I used to play backgammon together every Thursday in the summer. How did you know Irma Finlay? I... Um, I'll tell you how that squirt new Irma. Oh no, he's gonna destroy this moment, right? Can you hear anything but a melodica? 
<laughs> Maybe it's because of one of the rare instruments, actually. I'm also seeing this, really. No, he's going to destroy the service now. He's the one who let her die. It's the truth. Irma was in great shape. Then one day she just bends over, sprains an ankle, ends up in the hospital, and a few days later, suddenly she's sick. Real sick. And then she just dies. I'm telling you, it's all that guy's fault. Him and all the stuff at that awful hospital. Just heard them talking about it right now. They're letting the hospital deteriorate. It's so bad, the folks who go there pick up the new diseases in the wards. Irma didn't even have pneumonia until they took her to that dump. I'm telling you, Irma didn't just die. She was murdered there. If Thank to Ursula wasn't so useless, Irma would still be with us today. We'd be celebrating, not mourning. Everyone who works, everyone who works there should stand up and take the blame for this. We'd all be better off if this hospital was torn down and never darkened our skyline again. Ralph, that's a crock of nonsense. Ah, hold on. Maybe he's got a point? Yeah, St. Derizalize is a danger to us all. That's right, we need to run these murderers out of town. Maybe it would be better that way. Look around you. Do you see anyone from the hospital here except for this clown? Exactly. They don't even have the nerve to come to the her funeral. Why are they agreeing with them? This is... This is... So unfair. This is insane unfair. And this is not the right time to talk about this. Because they know it's their fault. Plain as the nose on, the f on your face. But... Quiet, everyone! Please! This isn't about pointing the finger at anyone. This isn't about Sancti Ursula's. It's about Irma, my mother, your friend. Mm. Finley? <laughs> yeah? I'm sorry to have to... I, I'm sorry to have to ask you this. But perhaps it would be best if you leave. What? What? But... P please, I don't want this argument to ruin Irma's memorial. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Let's talk later. Oh, this is breaking my heart. What the hell? Okay. He kicked me out. Kick out the noisy ones, right? I agree. Imagine if doctors have to go to every funeral of people they treat. <laughs> I mean, this is a very small town, but imagine in, in New York City or something. Wow, this was actually breaking my heart. Man, that didn't go how I expected. Looks like my cell phone had no reception at Gilbert's. Me and Carl both tried to call me. I didn't talk to Carl today. Hey, Finley. I was starting to get worried. What's up? I want to talk your mind of things. Maybe grab a beer somewhere. We could talk if you want. Yeah, I might take you up on that. What were you thinking? Why don't you come pick me up on the high street in a little while? Cool, I need to get out of here anyway. Let's do that. I'll wait outside. On the high street? I don't know where the high street is. Kicking out the noisy one would only m make more noise though. So, they're punishing me instead. Jungs.
I hope I'm going the right way. I'm not quite sure. Because this is the way back home. Sometimes respectfully asking the other party to leave is the best way to keep the peace at that moment. Yeah, I guess so. And since we are the calm one, it's probably easier to, you know, to get along with us instead of the noisy ones. Yeah, that makes sense. But we are the ones who are getting uh, punished for that, you know? And I don't think that's fair. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> Minus 10. <laughs> 10 on chip advisor. <laughs> How is this website actually making money now? And I'm thinking. Got kicked out of Irma's funeral after people made false accusation <laughs> against me. <laughs> we'll never turn to again. <laughs> One of ten. <laughs> oh, that that would actually look so so bad as a rating. Ads like every website they're making they're making so much money with ads to to keep running this website. I don't even see any ads there because of the ad blockers. Maybe it's this road? I don't know, I'm never using it. It's um, quite interesting if you just want to look around. Um. Oh, I think I found I found them um, if you just want to look around to see what's the most important thing to see. Memorial or whatever. You see them. There you are. Wait, weren't you meant to be at work today? I was. Dr. Theobald let me leave early. Whoa, that doesn't happen often. I went to Irma's funeral service. Mm. Alright, so I know this sounds awful, but I just couldn't do it. I wanted to go. I got myself ready and I was just about to head out the door. And my legs stopped working. They just wouldn't move. But I was here in the global woods. <laughs> How was it? There was an argument. People said it was my fault or my diet. <laughs> what? That's insane. Who said that? Rolf overheard us talking. Us? Me and Gregor Glendover? Gregor blames himself for Omar's death. You know, because of the burst water pipe and all that. Oh man. Rolf was really angry. And eventually, the, uh, the other started getting fired up, too. That miserable scumbag. Cheer up, Finley. Don't take it so hard. You know what really happened? After a day like this, you really deserve a break. I already guessed that Gilbert's would be closed today. So I bought my very own homebrewed beer with me. Did you brew your own beer? Of course, I'm a man of many hobbies. <laughs> and where are we heading? To Gilbert's. But I thought, you'll see, I've got an idea. Oh, that sounds like a bad idea. Oh, this sounds very bad. We shouldn't do this. Can we not? Can we just chill at home or go to a park? Or I guess it's a bit too cold. But can we just chill at home and talk about Irma and talk about our problems or something? Why do we have to go back to that pub? Oh, man. I should have met up with Mia. Carl is always bringing up trouble. Mm 
All right, here we are. Doesn't look like there is anyone else around. Just like I expected. After a funeral, people usually head to the glow milk, uh, glow milk uh, woods together to take the memorial figure into its new home. So, what now? Wait, here. Let me get the key. Um, what? Oh, that sounds illegal. I don't want to do that. Oh, God, what is he doing? That's the key? Yep. The key to a very own private roof terrace. Are you serious? Of course I am. You think I'd run all the way here for a joke? Come on, it'll be fun. Dude, I knew it. I'm never gonna call Carl again. Never. Even though he's a good guy. Are we gonna get drunk now? <laughs> you went to old Irma's funeral service today, right? How was it? What are you gonna call him then? Troublemaker. He was... Nice. Hard though. Sounds like a funeral worth of a movie. I know you like the old lady, but it's the same for all of us. I've known her since I was a kid. She was already pretty old even back then. And Giuliano's always been like a big brother to me. He looked after me sometimes after school. Kind of weird that we still hang out so much. But I like the old slugger just as much as I liked Irma. Greetings, dear Des. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Sounds like stuff I did with my friends. Cheeky things. Troublemakers. But the good kind of troublemakers, I guess. But that's not a key, though. She looked after me sometimes, too. Juliana was out of town a lot, sometimes for weeks at a time. So she would tell me stories. Great times. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta hear a few of her stories too. Really? I had no idea. Uh, no idea. Did she? Did she tell you the one about the soup gnome, or the great sugar quake? Um. <laughs> no, I never heard those ones. That's all right. I can tell you them sometime. I know all of her stories by heart. Like, I was there myself. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. It was a good idea coming up here. Look at the sky. The snow keeps the beer nice and cold. But somehow I don't actually feel cold at all. Hmm. I wonder why. Yeah, it's nice here. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, little piggy. I figured you need a little pick-me-up. And cheering people up is my speciality. I'll be sure to give you a good review. <laughs> Thanks, but it's time to face facts. We've got a problem here. Yep, enough chit chat. Finley, I like you a lot, but when times get tough, it's every man for himself. Behold the last beer. The last beer. So, what are we gonna do? There's no sugar coating it. Agreed. Well, that's that, then. We decide this year and now. You or me. There's only one way to settle a matter of such great importance. The same way our fathers did and their fathers before them. What are they talking about? We duke it out. M mano? M mano? Bring it on? What? What are we talking about? Take oh, that escalated quickly. Carlos challenged you to snowball fight. Mr. WSD and, and to aim and hold E to decide how hard you want to throw your snowball. Release E to throw your snowball. Okay. Um. <laughs> no. There's no way. I feel like I'm playing worms. Fight. There's no way. Wait, can I change the angle to the other? Yeah. Yeah. Warm star. Oops, what the hell? Where is this going? Oopsie. He has high ground. That's unfair. Nope. <gasps> you kidding me? What? And you're changing even the position? Okay.
Nee. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, that was close. Really? He's gonna kill me now. He can't share the last few. I guess not. Ha, nope. Hello? You oh no my god this is even worse. Okay, he's gonna get me right. Warm style actually warm style. Funny. Look at my avatar by the way, it's so cute. I've got a love letter on my helmet. <laughs> This is already looking good. I don't know. Okay. You. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Close. <laughs> Gonna kill me now. Okay, dude. What? Okay. Do, do, do. Even with the military sound. Let's go. Nice. This is hard. Maybe not that strong like this. Okay, this was... Uh... Okay, chat, don't look. He's also not hitting me anymore. Are we going to stick here forever? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Is this changing its position, by the way? I'm not quite sure. Can I see? No. I want to... I want to zoom out. I want to zoom out the whole time, but that's not possible. I think there is always a reset. Carl, end this, please. Just end this, dude. Okay, super hard now. Okay. Hi, Booba. You threw this in more than one way. I'm trying so hard. Okay, now I'm probably just one shot, right? <laughs> Most likely. You can't have the last beer. I, I don't like beer, actually. <gasps> I actually got him once. Wow. Oh, I, I am allowed to do this again. Ah. Oh. gonna get me now no winnable <gasps> what a nice comeback I'm still one shot oh he got me <laughs> warms viewer games <laughs> well Ice cold, Finlay. Ice cold. Go ahead, take the last beer. You've earned it. I'm honored. You were a worthy adversary. Why did I earn it? I lost, right? I'll get you back next time. What? What? I lost it. Hey, you two. Um, Juliano, up here, Paul. We've still got some beer left. How did you guys get up there in the first place? I'm confused. I'm also confused. Maybe it's a bug? Because I clearly didn't win this. Oh, thank you, game developers. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, man. That's how we're on first try, huh? <laughs> no way, dude. Get your butt up here. Jeez. Well, where have you been? 
I was with the foreigners in the Glow Milk Woods. We put up my mother's memorial figure in. We found a real nice spot. She like it there. Hey, Giuliano. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about what happened at the funeral service today. And that Irma passed away. I would have loved to have met her outside of the hospital. I only knew her a few days, but I was really fond of her. I'm going to miss her. Finley, you did nothing wrong. It's me who should be apologizing. I wasn't there when... <laughs> I've been trying to hide away from it all. I was scared, scared of that one call, seeing the hospital's name pop up on my caller ID. I just couldn't bring myself to go to the hospital. I couldn't be there for her. I left her all on her own. Everyone is feeling guilty, huh? That breaks my heart. Thanks for being there with her, Finley. Thanks for making sure she wasn't alone. You know, the night she died, she told me a story. It was about the hibernation festival and she was hoping that's where you were. Having a great time with all the people of Porcupine. That you'd associate the night she died with a positive memory. And that you'd remember all the hibernation festivals you celebrated together. When she was still in good health and happy. And that the last time you spoke to her wouldn't be at the, at the end. She wanted you to remember her as she was. At the hibernation festival. Thank you for telling me that. It means a lot to me. Man, these last few days have been exhausting. I am so tired, I could just pass out. Is there anything else we can do for you, buddy? No, it's okay. I just need some sleep. I need to get Gilbert's open again. I hope you guys will still come and see me plenty. Oh, for sure. If it wasn't for you, there'd be no fun in this town at all. <laughs> You know, you could build a rooftop terrace up here in the summer. Just picture it. I'd spend every minute of every day here. Malt wine in winter, cocktails in summer. It'd be awesome. Yeah. I could do that, you know. Night, guys. And take care. Getting down. Ah, oh, we'll come with you now. And the sense of freedom up here. See here is great and all. But I'm starting to shiver my toes off. <laughs> Same here. It looks very cold. I'm glad we got a chance to talk. Me too, my friend. Alrighty. Time to hit the bed. Can't wait to get a good night's sleep. Good night, world. And also, good night, chat. <laughs> I am actually stopping here now. I would like to say thank you so, so much for, for playing one more time. Fall of Porcupine with me. <laughs> <laughs>